I just want to let you know we've put tariffs on steel and aluminum. Those businesses are through the roof. U.S. Steel called me up. They're expanding or opening six plants. They haven't done that in 35 years. Georgetown Steel in South Carolina closed four years ago, closed and shuttered. They're open for business, 600 people. That's happening all over the country, all over the country. So I want to level out, and I'm doing it, level out the playing field and all of the things you hear. Some, I mean, frankly, the smart people love it. Some people don't understand it. But we're going to be treated fairly when our great farmers in Iowa, Wisconsin, upper New York State, when we want to sell our dairy products into Canada, they charge us 275 percent. 275 percent. Essentially, what they're saying is, we don't want your product. Because who's going to pay that? So we're going to level out the playing fields, folks. They send us a lot of stuff. No tax. We're going to work it out. It's going to be friendly. We love Canada. We love Canada. I love Canada. But we're going to work it out. Mexico, last year, made $100 billion, plus they have a 17 percent, almost, VAT tax that nobody even thinks about. So we were behind the eight ball, because that tax was there at the beginning. Right from the beginning, we were behind the eight ball. Mexico wants to make a deal. We're going to make a deal with a lot of people. China. I have a lot of respect for China. I think it's great. And President Xi, I think he's great. He's a friend of mine. But we lost $500 billion over the last number of years, $500 billion a year. We've helped rebuild China. Someday they'll say thank you. But we don't want to do that anymore. We want to have a fair and balanced situation. And it doesn't have to happen immediately, but it has to be fair. Because our country has never done better than it's doing right now. European Union, last year, trade imbalance. We had a deficit of $151 billion. They send us Mercedes. They send us, by the millions, the BMWs, cars by the millions. We send them a bushel of corn, and they reject it. They have a barrier. They don't want our corn, because they have their farmers. OK, I understand. But, you know, if you don't want our agricultural product, we don't want your cars. I mean, you know, it's not such a complicated formula. And they're going to come back, and they're going to say, let's talk. Frankly, don't tell them I said it, but they already have. Don't ever tell them I said that. You'll screw up my negotiations. But we're doing good. Your opinion, they're great. They're great people. And it'll all work out. Many, many other cases. Uh, we've actually made a deal with South Korea. We took the deal. I expired it. It was a terrible deal. It was supposed to give us 250,000 jobs, done by Hillary Clinton. And she was right. It did give 250,000 jobs. So she was right. It gave it to South Korea, not to us. This was not a good deal. But we've renegotiated the deal and subject to signing. I always say subject to signing because lots of things happen. And if it did happen, that's fine. But we made a new deal with South Korea. Wonderful deal for both. And our farmers now are protected. And our tariff, which has been paid for years, which was expiring, has now been extended for a long period of time on trucks. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.